Hello everybody, my name is Legendary Gojira and FNAF1964 and a plush design I made got stolen by a random Chinese bootleg company so that's a way to open a video so let me tell you guys what happened so around mid-January-ish my hype for Chapter 3 of Poppy Playtime was at its highest we didn't really know much at the time all we had was like uh, the first teaser trailer to go off of and which is the one with the uh, silhouette of catnap and i was just so excited for this chapter i don't know why i just absolutely loved catnap i thought his design was awesome even before we knew what he was going to look like so for fun one day i just decided to throw together a uh catnap plush edit now compared to the final game design he's a little bit off he looks more like Catnap when he stands up in the game to worship the prototype sculpture statue thing he made. Fun fact, a lot of the design is actually based around the um, Game Tunes Catnap design. I made him stand up, I gave him the little tufts of fur around his hands, I made him stand up on two legs like the Game Tunes design, and I gave him like the weird line kind of design through his eyes that the game tunes one did i don't know i just think that one looks really cool and I, i'm gonna be real i like the game tunes poppy playtime series kind of hey future me here yeah i'm completely lying now because in the two weeks i've been working on this video game tunes completely fell off they went from making videos based off the actual chapter three game which were pretty well made to catnap going on a beach with his wife and that there's a baby side plot and catnap's ex and jesus christ what happened in those two weeks so yeah, that was a lot of inspiration for the design. Threw it onto Reddit. I don't use Reddit a lot, but still posted it on there. And a lot of people seem to like it. You know, just put it on there. Didn't expect anything to come of it. Till one day, I go scrolling through AliExpress, because why the hell not, um, and come across a catnap bootleg plush design. Now, the one I saw looked pretty accurate to the game. And then I go to click on it, and then what do I see? I see my plush design copied by this random Chinese bootleg company. And I was just so surprised for a few reasons. First off, the bootleg has a lot of different design choices than mine. The edit I had, or made, I had it more like a 3D, like, um, Catnap's mouth area was more puffed out, like how it is on the actual plush toy. However, the bootleg has it more pushed in for some reason, which I thought was kind of interesting. It reminded me of a lot of the, um, bootleg Huggy Wuggy plush toys you could find almost anywhere for a long while. One thing, though, that does annoy me with the, uh, bootleg plush is how they did the feet and the hands. Now, little fun fact about the um, designing of the one I made. Uh, the hands and feet are from a Godzilla golf cover, which I don't know why. I was just looking around my room one day while designing it. I happened to have a Godzilla golf cover for some reason. I originally thought it was a hand puppet, and I was like, oh, that's perfect to use for the hands. And then the feet, I think, are from some random Godzilla plush toy from, like, uh, 2015 or something like that. Um, on the bootleg, the hands are so spread out, and I hate how it looks. And the feet look like elephant feet to me. Or, like, horse hoofs or whatever. It's just kind of awkward there, but still, for them copying my design almost completely, it doesn't look terrible. Hey, so this is future legendary Gojira speaking. Uh, this video is taking me a long while to put out on because of school. Um, and since I started working on this video, two other bootleg companies ripped off my catnap plush design, and theirs look completely different than the first one. And they're just as bizarre, so let's talk about them. Alright, so this is the second knockoff catnap plush. This is the only one I've seen footage of a person owning um that was uploaded by circus maximus their videos are pretty fun uh so go check them out this one is even more bizarre it's like they took my original design and were like y y you know what you know what let's make it fluffier let's make it look like a wash rag 
and that's what they did. A lot of the uh, design qualities I liked about the original one are lost. For some reason, his nose is really pushed in. Um, the ears look way too small. They look more like a panda bear's ears. I like that they gave him a zipper. That is all I'm going to say. The zipper being there is kind of cool. Otherwise, I think this is the worst looking knockoff catnap plush based off of my design. It's not the only one though, because a random Chinese company out there, which for some reason is just cranking out fan-made Poppy Playtime Smiling Critters plushies, like, they're just taking whatever fan designs they can find, I'm pretty sure. Eventually though, they did get around to making one based off of my plush design, and... It's, again, it's got things I absolutely love and absolutely hate. The face on this one, I think, is a little bit better, and is a little bit more accurate to the game catnap. The ears, though, are a weird choice. They look more like bat ears than catnap ears. So that's kind of bizarre. They did puff out the face, so it looks more like the in-game design, which is something I really like. I love the wide, creepy smile they gave on theirs. Um, he doesn't have any, um, he doesn't have a zipper, which kind of sucks. His body is way too short. Um, I do like how they did the arms. They're just a perfect amount of length. Um, I would say this is, like, the second best, maybe first best? I don't know. It's like, I want to say it's the second best looking one. It's got the face down, it's got the arms down, but proportion-wise is just all over the place, so yeah. And I think that covers everything yeah uh we went over all the designs how this thing came to be um amazon though surprisingly is cracking down on these plushies and is starting to get them removed so hey that's kind of a good thing kind of a bad thing i don't know depending on how you look at it so yeah i think that's the story of how my design got stolen and turned into a mass-produced catnap bootleg plushie make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one Bye.